All right, today we're working on our 2013 Mazda 3. This is the 2.5 liter, and we're gonna be doing a motor oil flush and motor oil change. Welcome back to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben. If this is your first time to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. You can tap the little red icon in the corner, or you just hit the little subscribe button right here, and then you go ahead and tap the notification bell. And that way you'll get new notifications when my new video comes up. All right, guys, we're gonna put in our flush. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and put in our engine flush. Mike's gonna go ahead and pop the seal on her. And then basically, he's gonna be pouring this super thin detergent into the motor oil. And what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna break up old sludge inside the engine. It's also going to uh, get a lot of the contaminants out of the crankcase. And uh, all you do is idle it. You're good to pour it in, good. Give us a nice tall pour to see some color. Beautiful, I love it. Good hands on them. And uh, basically it's gonna clean all these little deposits out of this uh, engine. And then we're gonna go ahead and flush her out. And then we're gonna be putting in our 100% synthetic liquid gold. Mike's gonna go ahead and motor up and we'll let her idle for 15 minutes. So we're putting in our PI performance improver. And this is a very thin uh, additive that goes in the gasoline. And what it does is it actually breaks up the uh, particles inside the combustion chamber and there's all these little carbon deposits and it actually smooths out your idle. It also cleans the fuel injectors, gets you up to 5.7% better fuel mileage in just one tank and you put it right in the gasoline. It treats up to 20 gallons and you basically put it in every 4,000 miles. And uh, well, we're all good to go. Guys, so we got her idling. I want you to hear what she sounds like before and after. This is before. Just got done idling her for 15 minutes. Now we're going to take off our oil filter, which is real easy to get to. And uh, basically take off this little flap underneath the belly pan. And then we're going to go ahead and drain her down. And it takes a little Allen key here, and that's where we're going to drain her from. So we're going to do the oil filter first. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to crack our oil filter loose. It's right here. It's this little teeny cute little booger. And sometimes the little guys are tougher. So you got to really get the wrench on right. Squeeze her nice and tight. And there she is. Wow, she's a tough one. She's a stickler. But we'll get her. We'll get her. We'll get her. There we go. All right. Just finger loosen her. She should be easy as pie. Here we go. Ah, there she goes. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And now we just get her off. And now we just let her drain down. Ah, beautiful. All right, Mike's got her cracked loose, and now he's gonna keep going a little bit more. And now, he's gonna go ahead and finger loosen her. He's got great hands, and we're gonna be squirting here in a second. And there she is, easy peasy. Go ahead and move your hands and show her off. Look at that, look at that beautiful stream. We'll clean up the tile, don't worry about it. If it ain't messy, it ain't fun. If it ain't fun, it ain't messy. Look at those hands. <laughs> All right, and there she blows. That's super cool. Just wanted to show you guys the eight millimeter Allen key. That's the drain bolt. So that's what it is, eight mil. So we're here with Mike, and this is Mike's first time handling an oil filter. So Mike, go ahead and show everybody the box. This oil filter is good for one year, 15,000 miles, and turn it around. And it filters at 98.7% efficiency. There's the filtration percentage. And Mike's gonna go ahead and unwrap the filter. So go ahead and just unwrap it. Beautiful. And now what Mike's gonna do is he's gonna set the filter on the car and he's gonna go ahead and crack open a nice fresh bottle of oil. Oh. Yep. Yes, yes. <laughs> Gotta watch your hands with this stuff. This stuff is so sturdy. Sometimes it can just pop on you, so be careful. So now he's got her open. Now he's gonna start feeling her up. 
So go ahead and start pouring in that liquid gold, Mike. Go ahead, get in there a little bit. Beautiful. You can see he's got a delicate touch. And keep going, stop right there, good. Now go ahead and recap the oil. Put the oil cap back on the bottle. And now this is where Mike's gonna use two finger. And he's gonna use his two fingers just right. Uh, Mike, go ahead and lift up that filter. And you're gonna go ahead and stick your fingers in all that oil. You're gonna get it nice and wet. You're gonna wet your rubbers, wet your gaskets, everything. And we'll get a close up on this. Get in there, Mike, go ahead and wet her up. Get these rubbers a little bit better. Excellent, because as you guys know, the wetter, the better. And now, when Mike goes to thread her on, she's gonna th thread on as smooth as silk. We're giving Mike the honor, so going ahead and feeling her up. Look at that liquid gold going. And I'm telling you what, guys, I'm coming right behind Mike with second bottle. This is Amsoil Signature Series. It's good for one year, 25,000 miles. It outperforms Mobile One Extended Performance by four times in the industry standard turbocharger deposit test. And it burns off at half the rate of Mobile One. And uh, it gets you better gas mileage. And it also has about one third of the wear on your pistons and cams. So your engine will last exponentially longer and you won't have to change your oil as much. Hey guys, this is the moment of truth. Mike's gonna motor her up. Here at beautiful Roma Coffee, just relaxing. And we're here with Mike, he's driven the car for about how many days? About three days now. He's driven it for about three days. So what's it feel like? Much different now. The smoothness of the ride is just unbelievable. I was able to notice the smoothness like from the first time I turned it on. And then from this point on, just driving it, I just like, I don't feel the vibrations in the car anymore. It's a lot smoother. When I'm sitting at a red light idling, it's just kind of like, I pull up and slowly just sit there quietly compared to before where my car had a bit of a shake to it going whenever I would stop at a red light. Wow. And just like, I just noticed too, when I started up in the morning, it just seemed to start up a little bit quicker, a little bit cleaner. And wow. Just a little bit, you know, that first five minutes of driving is a lot more enjoyable before than wow. it was before the oil change. But yeah. Wow. 10 out of 10, would recommend and would do again with it for sure. The AMS oil is amazing. She's purring like a kitten. This was Mike's first oil change on his car. And if you guys have any questions about this Mazda 3 or anything about Amsoil products, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can leave a comment below. If this is your first time to the channel and this video helped you out, definitely consider subscribing. You can hit the little red icon in the corner. And cheers to protection, protection, protection. We'll see you guys back next time. Thanks.